What's going on everybody? I'm Sonic Him, America's face of dating. And today, this is how to get girls. Three powerful, very powerful rules that you must follow. And this is very important. Why? Let's just jump right into it, right? Why wait? There are a few guys out there who can actually attract the highest quality of girls. Very few men actually can. I believe one to three percent of men actually can attract the highest quality of women out there, which leaves the other 97% of guys bitter. And they say, girls aren't worth it, man. Girls just aren't worth it. And they try to hide the fact that they don't want girls right. But deep down, they live this quiet desperation of the fact that they actually want girls. And they're just trying to hide the fact that they don't want girls. But they're actually just suppressing the truth. And that's, they don't know natural attraction. They suck with women. They don't know these three rules that I'm about to go over with you. And so make sure you close your mouth, open up your ears, and really digest this info into your brain because this is absolutely important. And most guys aren't doing these things. They say they're doing these things and they're really not. Red pill guys blame girls for their problems, right? They're just like, oh yeah, it's because women just suck nowadays. Women don't suck nowadays. Women have always been the exact same. They go after the alpha male, which we're about to talk about in a second. They all go after the alpha male leader of the group. They go after status. That's never been, <laughs> that's never been different, right? Social media has just now exposed that truth a little bit harder, but it has also shined on men in the fact that it has exposed men a little bit more in detail as well to, dis to expose how men are really about looks. Now, don't blame women. Learn from these, these videos and take responsibility for where you're at in life right now. Chances are, if you're watching this, you're not exactly where you want to be yet, and that's totally fine. I have been in your position plenty of times for plenty of my life before as well. And the best thing that you can do is keep watching these videos, keep learning, keep growing, and that's what we're gonna be doing right here. And if you can't get girls, that's your fault, right? And I put that in green because that's good. It's something you can actually control. For not learning this stuff though, it's because you probably have been ignorant and you haven't really known exactly what to do to get girls. And so let's break it all down for you right now. But number one, the first rule, one powerful rule is that you need powerful confidence. And this isn't going to be, oh, the typical C rank dating coaches out there that are just like, you just need confidence to get girls. I'm going to actually explain to you what this is, what this looks like, and exactly what you guys need to actually have powerful confidence. But women are attracted to confident, high energy men. Think about the alpha silverback gorilla. He's powerful, right? He beats his chest. He has a lot of energy, especially when someone challenges him. He screams, he beats his chest. And I'm not saying for you to go to the bar in the club and start beating your chest and screaming at every single girl and male in the club. That's not what I'm saying, right? But he has access to all the gorillas, all the female gorillas. Plus, also on the flip side, he's very gentle. He teaches other baby gorillas how to build their nests, what foods to eat, what berries to look for, how to work out, I guess, if they even work out because they're already so fucking big already, right? They teach their young what to do, how to do it. That's what the alpha silverback does. He's able to kill in one instance, and then he's able to teach his young in another instance, making him the absolute epitome of a masculine alpha male. There are alpha males but in the world, right? There are alpha males among humans, but the world is trying to suck the confidence from you. It's trying to make as much beta male men as it possibly can. Why is that? It's because beta males, they follow what other people do. They just comply, like slaves in a way. They just comply and they're just like, okay, yes sir, I'll do that. They aren't af they're, they're afraid to stand up for themselves. They don't have a spine. So the world wants to make as many beta males as it possibly can because beta males are easy to manipulate. They're easy to control. Whether that's watching porn, I spelled porn wrong because I think YouTube will get all fucking pissy about it if I put that on here. Social media, watching dancing girls on Instagram, right? You go to your explore page, all you see is fucking big asses, big tits, and a bunch of girls shaking their ass and giving you junky foods to eat that try to weaken you, right? Going back to the social media thing, you go to your explore page or you go to your for you page, chances are there's a bunch of girls just on there shaking their ass. It's like legal prostitution, right? Or legal, legal stripping, <laughs> It's crazy, but they're trying to use these things to weaken men and get them to become beta males. And it's quite sad to be seeing it in real time that most men are falling for this bullshit, especially giving you junky foods like fucking potato chips and Oreos and cookies and sugar. It's trying to weaken you and make you comply, make you a little bitch. 
and I'm, I'm here to save you guys, don't worry. <laughs> Call me Super Sana. Women want a powerful and confident man with high energy, as we've already established. And what does this mean? This leads actually into number two here. This is actually a client from my program, Weston. High energy, alpha male, confident man, right? He's able to do it all, which is what I'm about to talk to you about in a second here. Being capable. What does being capable mean? Number two. It shows you of many forms, right? You can be a tiger in one moment, and then you can be a chameleon in another, right? Camouflaging, being stealth. Then you can be a tiger attacking, dominance. You can flirt with her and build natural attraction, right? You know how to talk to women. You know how to break down her tests, break down her walls, build natural attraction with the girl, right? Nothing is more unattractive to a girl when she tests you and you, are, and you, apply, you reply logically, excuse me. She's like, wow, you clearly are not capable Capable. You don't understand female nature, how females communicate. You can walk into a business meeting and secure that $1 million deal, right? You can flirt with the girl, then secure a $1 million deal 20 minutes later. You can fight and take someone out and then hold a baby, right? You can be fighting with your right hand, and then you can hold a baby in your left hand. Instantly, at the, simultaneously. It shows you're capable of multiple things at once. And most importantly, going back to building natural attraction... You know how to talk with her. You know how to speak with her. That's going to arouse her and make her want you, right? Nothing is more unattractive to a woman when she's talking to you and you're replying logically. She's like, this guy clearly does not understand natural attraction. This is what draws others to you, helps you conquer the world, and brings you followers like I've gained, right? Being able to be capable, doing so many different things at once, right? Being able to fight, being able to build my business and make a lot of fucking money to having my girlfriend here, a beautiful blonde dime piece girl. We're actually going to Mexico this fucking Saturday, which is going to be fucking epic, man. But I can do so many different things at once because I've trained myself instead of watching porn and fucking around, I actually invested in myself and built my skill set, which is something you guys should be doing right now. Some people think you're born with charisma and capability, but actually that's simply not true. It is something that you can build. It's something you can learn. But you have to be able to talk less than you listen, right? You need to be able to listen more than you talk is the duality of what I just said there, right? Capable of multiple different things at once, right? I can switch a sentence around, boom, switch it back. That's you showing it in real time to you, right? You should be grateful to me. But you have to be able to listen more than you talk, right? Nothing shows a beta male more than someone who just simply is not listening. He's talking so much and he's talking your ear off and, you're not and he's not listening to you. Shows he's a beta male. He thinks he's a know-it-all. He has an ego. He thinks, it's, he thinks it's not manly to get dating advice on this stuff, right? Has a really big fucking ego as someone who's never going to succeed in life. Someone who's able to listen, turn his mouth off, open his ears up, listens to the girl talk, gathers data about what she's saying. Oh, this could mean this. Let me ask her about this. That's how you really connect with a woman right there, right? That's gold right there, man. You guys should take that and run with it. It makes the other person feel important. It makes you feel and be more mysterious when you're not talking as much. It takes your attention and take your attention away as sometimes too, right? Never look down when you're talking to someone. Never look down. It shows that you're submitting, kind of like the alpha male silverback. Everyone looks down. When he looks you in the eye, you look down and away, Right? When you look something in the eye, it's a challenge. When you're talking to a girl, never look down. It shows that you're pedestal pedestalizing her. Instead, look up and away. Like you're thinking about something else. Like some other girl caught your attention maybe in a second. And you bring it back on something interesting. And you take it away again. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful globe over there. Golden. Golden globe I have. Oh yeah, strawberries. Yeah, it's a really great fruit, isn't it? Just like that right there. Which leads us into point number three, the final point right here. First impressions last. You need to get every single edge that you can possibly can get, right? I was just talking to my group call, all the guys in my program, I was just talking about this. Literally, you need to get every single edge you possibly can get, right? Whiten your teeth. Smell good. Dress great. If you guys want my ultimate cologne set, just message me on Instagram. I'll get it back to you guys. Women notice your hygiene and habits, dude. If you, if your breath stinks, you're fucking done, dude. You're not, you're not getting the girl. She will always remember that. And she will always be like, yes, yeah, the guy right there whose breath smells like ass. <sighs> Two men can wear the same outfit, but based on your physique, it might look great on one and terrible on the second. 
So you need to master it, right? You need to master the way that you dress. I'm wearing a fucking Versace robe right now. I don't really give a shit, right? I've already made it. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. But for guys that are still growing and still learning, you have to be able to master the way you dress, right? Wear that long fit t-shirt. Wear a suit if it looks good, right? Wear that dress shirt. What looks good on your body type? People will take you less serious when you dress sloppy, right? The only reason I get away with this is because I fucking look good in this, right? I look like a fucking pimp in this. That's the reason I get away with it. If you see me out in public, dude, I'm probably wearing a nice blazer and a nice suit and a nice t-shirt, nice dress pants, nice loafers. I look good as fuck, okay? And when you smell me, you're like, this guy smells like fucking Zeus, man. This guy smells amazing, right? First impressions matter. It took me several years to finally get my style down right, with my body type, but it's, it's incredibly important for you guys. You guys have to master that. And so that's the three powerful rules that you need on how to get girls. And make sure you guys like and subscribe because you'll see what I'm doing with my clients in my program right now. It's getting them massive success like these clients down here below. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below what questions you guys might have. And make sure you reach out to me on Instagram if you guys have any questions as well. I'm Sona Kim, America's Face of Dating, and I'll see you guys next time.